So Elon Musk did it again. He dropped an announcement that sent shockwaves through the tech world, Grok 5, his next generation AI. The promises are, well, revolutionary, but the skepticism is just as loud. So let's break it down and figure out what's real and what might just be hype. And that's really the big question here, isn't it? Are we actually looking at the dawn of a new era for machine intelligence? Or is this just another visionary promise in an already jam-packed and super competitive AI landscape? That's the conflict we're going to dig into. Okay, so to really get what's at stake, there's one key term we have to be on the same page about, AGI, or Artificial General Intelligence. You can think of it as the holy grail of AI research, and it's so important because Grok 5 is being positioned as a huge leap in exactly that direction. So why did this particular announcement cause such a stir? Well, it's because this isn't just, you know, another product update. It's being framed as a massive statement of intent, a challenge thrown down to the entire industry that has everyone, believers and critics alike, buzzing about what it could all mean for the future. And to get a real feel for where Grok 5 is headed, you have to look at where it's coming from. Its predecessor, Grok 4, definitely built an impressive foundation. But let's just say that foundation had some pretty noticeable cracks. Yeah, Grok 4 really had a split personality. On one hand, it was an absolute beast when it came to logical reasoning, even outperforming its competitors on some really important tests. But on the other hand, it completely stumbled with anything multimodal. That means tasks that involve different types of data, like trying to interpret an image or understand what's happening in a video. That very specific weakness sets up the biggest challenge, and of course, the biggest opportunity for Grok 5. So now that we know about that major weakness, the whole vision for Grok 5 starts to make a lot more sense. Now let's dive into the incredibly ambitious promises being made, because honestly, this is where things get really wild. The entire vision for Grok 5 is really built on three huge pillars. First, they have to finally conquer their predecessor's biggest flaw by mastering visual and video data. Second, it's got to break out of the digital world and into the physical one through robotics. And third, and this is the big one, the ultimate goal is to use this new intelligence to actually speed up human scientific discovery in fields like physics and engineering. And get this, the timeline to pull all of this off? Just two years. Yeah, you heard that right. Two. To put it mildly, experts are skeptical. I mean, pulling off just one of these things in two years would be a monumental achievement. All three? It's ambitious, to say the least. So you're probably asking, how on earth do they even plan to try this? Well, the strategy seems to be a two-pronged attack, throwing an exponential amount of raw computing power at the problem while also developing brand new innovative training techniques. Basically, it's a massive bet on both brute force and smarter methods working together perfectly. Okay, so we've heard the big ambitious dream. Now it's time for a reality check. That powerful combo of brute force and innovation is going to be tested against some very real-world challenges, not to mention a field that is absolutely jam-packed with intense competition. And make no mistake, XAI is not building this in a bubble. You've got the 800-pound gorilla in the room, OpenAI, with its huge first-mover advantage. Then you have these really sharp, focused players like Anthropic, carving out powerful niches. For Grok 5 to actually succeed, it can't just be good. It has to offer an advantage so clear and so undeniable that people have no choice but to pay attention. The list of hurdles standing in the way is significant. They have to solve that core vision problem from Grok 4. They have to prove they're actually better than the rivals who are already out there. They have to somehow manage the sky-high expectations Musk himself has set. And oh yeah, they have to overcome enormous technical barriers along the way. That's not just a to-do list, that's a gauntlet. But hey, let's imagine for a second that they pull it off. They clear all those hurdles, they run that gauntlet. What would success actually mean for the rest of us? Because the potential impact of a fully realized Grok 5 would go far, far beyond just the tech world. You can almost see the impact unfolding in waves. First, you'd probably see it streamlining operations inside big companies. From there, it could make the leap into the physical world, acting as the brains for robots like Tesla's Optimus. The next step could be accelerating scientific discovery itself, before finally, maybe, trevoring a fundamental transformation across entire industries, from healthcare to manufacturing. And let's be crystal clear, the ambition here is absolutely staggering. This was never just about building a better chatbot. The stated goal is to create a tool that could, and I'm quoting here, lead to the discovery of new technologies and insights potentially reshaping our understanding of the world. That's an incredibly bold claim. 
but this all brings up a really critical question for all of us. With so much focus on big companies and high-level science, will the benefits of this powerful technology ever actually reach the average person? Or is it just going to become another amazing tool that's reserved for giant corporations and researchers? The answer to that question is going to define its true impact on society. At the end of the day, the road ahead for Grok 5 is anything but certain. It is paved with immense technical challenges and some of the toughest competition on the planet. But the potential rewards for science, for industry, and maybe, just maybe, for all of us are so profound that it makes this a pursuit that's absolutely worth watching. And so that brings us full circle right back to our central question. Is Grok 5 going to be the force that truly reshapes our future? Or will it just become another fascinating vision that ends up sparking the next great debate in technology? For now, that answer remains unwritten.